Today we're going to talk about summer lesson options. Some people teach straight through the summer with no break whatsoever. Other teachers don't teach at all in the summer. And there's a lot in between. So let me throw you out some options for the in-between. You can teach every other week in the summer. You can teach the middle six weeks in the summer. You can teach the middle five weeks in the summer and require three lessons or require five lessons or require no lessons. You're just offering those. So decide you know, whether you want to require lessons or whether this is an option and how many. I do have one suggestion for you. I'm going to suggest that you consider requiring beginners to take at least three lessons in the summer. Why? Because they forget. There's just something in the brain of youngsters that just does not hold on to the thinking processes and the cognitive learning that has gone on if they're still in the early elementary stages, that is elementary one, two, three, or four. I, if I don't have uh, them for lessons, I f find that I have to spend two, three, or four weeks uh, working to get back what we had in the in the in the spring. Um, classroom teachers find this all the time, and they have <laughs> no choice. But uh, that that is one thing that that I um, found tremendously helpful was to have uh, beginners come for at least three lessons. So if it was, you know, uh, maybe I offered five different weeks and they had to choose three of those. Or they could choose more if they wanted to, but it, they're required to take at least three. I found that really helpful. So those are some ideas for summer lessons for you. Next week I'm going to talk about fall signups.